So it is the quarter-final stage of the World Cup and Brazil take on Belgium, which could be a bit of a cracker. Frank Stoberton alongside me in the studio to preview uh, this one. That said, Brazil have been keeping plenty of clean sheets this tournament. Yeah, I think that's, um, that's what the, the new manager did when he came in. He, he tightened things up a little bit, but he didn't take the flair away from the team. So there's certain individuals in the team who will not wander too far forward. They'll leave it to the forwards, which is really a balance. It's, it's more or less what <clears throat> Barcelona and Real Madrid do, certainly in Europe. They, certain players have got certain jobs, and that's what, what he's doing. And to be fair, the results have shown, I mean, they just keep on winning. And they've got that little bit of flair. All the talk is about Neymar. I think that uh, he frustrates a lot of people because people don't like to see that cheating bit where he's trying to get an edge on it. And I think that's the difference. But there's, there's a lot of other positives in the Brazil team. You know, you've got to Coutinho, who's a, obviously come, coming of age now in this, in this World Cup. And I think we'll see the better of him next season for Barcelona. Um, Willan, who who got in the team. And as we know, I mean, he's, how he couldn't get in the Chelsea team this season is another thing. So they've got fantastic stars, but they've also got some workhorses in the team who, who, who give them the ability, give him the ball and then let them get on with it. At the same same time, Belgium, they've got they've got stars. They've got Hazard, Lukaku, De Bruyne, um, and for me, of those three, De Bruyne has been the one who's not shown so much now. He in, the, in this World Cup, maybe this is the game for him. You know, to step up to the mark because we know he's got great ability. And if he gets on the ball and he starts to play like we know he can play, this is going to be some game. Give me a prediction then. I'm going to go for a 3-2 for Brazil. Oh, I'm going like to go it. for numbers. Because <laughs> I, I think these two teams are set up to score goals. You know, there is def defensive mindness to it. Obviously, there has to be to get into the semi-final. But at the same time, their strengths are attacking. And I think that both sides will go for it because they know that... Well, it's, it's a last chance. You just go and you try and win the match. OK, 3-2 then. Uh, thriller on the cards, according to Frank, as Brazil take on Belgium.